Oh, hey YouTube viewers, this is Jeremiah Dragon. And yeah, I got my hair in braids, style, yeah, you know. Okay, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about how you can make your own nunchucks, like I did. Uh, you can check my videos, like from one right here, one right there, and it will lead you to two of my videos on how I did one style of nunchucku and two styles of nunchucku, which is, well, one nunchucku and a double one, which I'm just going to show you one. Okay, this one, I know may look a bit, well, it may be long, but still, uh, I got these things from Lowe's, and these chains too, not to mention these, um, these chains that actually have, uh, these, cl on these clamps right here, what you can do, and I, I, I'm not going to ship record it for you, it's going to be difficult putting these things together. That depends on if you're actually an expert in making martial art weapons. But how I did it is that I grab a piece of wood down from Lowe's. It's supposed to be a section where there's supposed to be wood. And you should post to find the one that looks the thickest. The thickest wood that you can find. Alright, and then what I did is put my hand right in the middle. And I kind of measured it by how far apart on both sides of my hand is. Like this. Alright. So it's going to take a while. So get comfortable. Watch it for, watch it for a little bit. If there's some parts that you missed... Feel free to rewind, doesn't matter to me. All right, so when you get the chain, make sure you link it like this. Some people will link it far, farther apart, some people link it close together, but for me, I kind of like it when it's either like even up, when it's like parallel, or too close like that, like it's kind of like speed chucks. All right, I don't have speed chucks yet, but if I do, I will show you what I'm talking about on that one, okay? See, what you do is that when you get in, you gotta screw these things in. For you to put these chains in, and plus this uh, this thing right here, this thing right here, that will help you connect these things together and make it a whole lot easier. Instead of you trying to break this thing, you're going to start getting bleed and scratch marks, and you're going to be blaming me and say, "Hey, Jeremiah Dragon told me to do this, and look what it got me. I tripped to the hospital. I don't want that. No, not at all. Okay. So these things, luckily, these are bendable metal." Because these metal can actually bend to any direction you do, but you got to use force with it, like with like a hammer, a wrench, anything you can use that'll help these things pry apart. And once these things pry apart, then you start like hammering or put these things in here so it can just latch up. But you got to be careful because the chain that you get when you go to Lowe's, they'll, they'll cut it for you, but you got to tell them well, how much of that chain that you want to cut. If you put too much, you're going to have to deal with this crap right here, this extra loop. I can't get off right now. I mean, I tried using a the saw, didn't work. I try using, well, a plier so I can like try to, but it didn't work. So, be sure that when you start sawing these things together, be sure that these things can be even. Once they're even, then it'll be easy for you to actually move around. It's gonna be very awkward if you have a nut chop this long and only this part down, right here, it'd be a very awkward looking nunchaku and be very embarrassing for you to show some videos or impress people with it or be in some martial arts tournaments and stuff like that. It's going to make you feel very stupid. They're going to be wondering, why is that guy having nunchaku that doesn't even match up? I mean, that's just dumb. All right. So you pick the great wood, great chains, the ones that won't break. And you got to twist these things too because these are screws as well. So, when you screw them, you got to screw them in really good. Because if you start swinging them around, it's going to hit somebody and you're going to like, Boom. Oh! It's going to hurt! It's going to hurt like a, like crap. It's going to hurt like crap and, and it's not going to be funny. So, this is my video on how you can do it. Alright? This is uh, this is it. And, um, well, I'm not going to do any more videos about how to make some nunchaku. You already know how I did it. But, if you don't like this idea, post and subscribe. Leave a comment at the bottom right here. All right, like it, or, or if you don't like what I'm telling you right now, then please feel free to leave a comment on that too. All right, so uh, see ya. Hasta luego.